And we're back with another Locked In and uh, decided to have a little bit of fun with uh, one of my favorite people. Uh, I'm going to let everybody in the FCA catch up with him a year later, and that's uh, former Greenwich football coach, uh, current Arizona assistant, John Marinelli. Johnny, it's good seeing you. Hey, what's going on? How are you? I'm doing okay. How have you been? Good. Uh, you know, crazy, crazy times. Uh, we're, we're getting through it. Just different part of the country. I think um, happy to be in Arizona. <laughs> I like that background right there. So, uh, you know, it looks a lot better than if I show you the rain coming down here. Oh, uh, yeah. It's, uh, it's 100 degrees today. It feels like it's 80, 85. It's not too bad. Um, weather down here has been, uh, it's been incredible all year. You can uh, my my short game has been uh, impressive this year. I don't wear pants too often. <laughs> so what uh, what's life like out in the West Coast with this whole pandemic? Uh, I mean, I'm sure it's not too much different than it is out here. Yeah, I think you have pockets. Obviously, California um, is is was hit pretty hard. Washington, um, and you have uh, Nevada and Arizona that you know, kind of steady, steady increases, but at low, low numbers. So um, it's been not, the hysteria here is not as uh, crazy as it is back home. Uh, Tucson, Arizona in general shut down uh, right when New York did. Um, and everything out here is so much more spread out. You're not on top of each other. So it's been uh, social distancing and everyone's been doing their, uh, their part to, to stay clear and, and follow the guidelines. And uh, I think because of that, our state's in a, in a pretty good spot. What about just in terms of with coaching the football team uh, with the staff being socially distanced? Um, yeah, I think, uh, you know, Coach Someone gave us specific orders. You know, it's not a – this is not a vacation. Uh, <laughs> um, but uh, so we've, we've been working. We've been working really hard. Uh, Zoom meetings, you know, just – I think as a staff, we, we've gotten closer, even though we haven't been next to each other. Um, and I think that's uh, a huge piece of, of this is turning negatives into positives and using this time to, to really kind of work uh, closely on some things and, and get really detail oriented in, in our, in our uh, different ways of the program. And I think it's really been helpful for us to develop relationships and, and kind of take it to another level. I'm sure most of all, uh, I mean, it's been a year since uh, you stepped down in Greenwich, and I think everybody here would like to know what your first year has been like as a college football coach. Well, it's, it's uh, you know, it's not easy when, when you go four and eight. Um, <laughs> and obviously, you learn quickly, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's hard to win at this level. It's very hard to win, and, um, you know, the, it's, you know, you're, the best way to put it is I think the, the major difference is just the details. Uh, you know, football's football. Um, I'm surrounded by, you know, really smart people, um, people that I, I learn from every single day. I thought I knew the game of football. Um, and then I came here and, and uh, have been a, a, just a true student taking notes in, in every meeting I possibly can to try to just uh, sponge what coach someone Coach Mazzoni uh, and some of our other guys, uh, what what they say, because it's it's truly a blessing for me to be a part of this staff and uh, be surrounded by guys who have so much knowledge. What are your uh, What are your responsibilities specifically, just uh, with your job? I was with the offensive line um, the first uh, you know six seven months through the first season. Um, so my I basically was underneath the offensive line coach, and then. Um, you know, worked with the offensive line and then game planning and all that stuff is uh, part of my responsibilities. And um, this year I'm now uh, moved to the quarterback room. So it's uh, with uh, Coach Mazzoni and the quarterbacks and, um, you know, plugging away and trying to, trying to get ready for uh, 2020. Being in the quarterback room, I'm sure, is what you really like doing. Uh, yeah, I just, like I, I don't hope. I hope next year I'll be in another room. You know, I think the more you can learn and the more you can diversify yourself as a football coach, uh, you know, the, the better you're going to get, and uh, the more aspects of the game that you'll see. So for me right now at this stage, um, you know, if if, uh, if I'm going to stay at this level for a little bit longer, I'd I'd like to be able to jump around and learn something, and uh, hopefully I get a. Uh, you know, position coach or, you know, something like that as, uh, as you know, my career moves on here. But uh, right now I'm, I'm really just focused on me learning from the people that I'm surrounded by and, and trying to win football games. Uh, what's the hardest point of a transition from, from being a high school coach to being a college coach? Um, well, uh, the transition wasn't 
tough for me as a high school coach you're basically your own graduate assistant right so um you know we have GAs here that do a lot of the uh, you know the tedious work that you know that they do so the coaches and analysts can can do their work and um and you kind of roll with it and not take up too much time but as a head coach you don't have those GAs so you're doing constant work and dealing with parents and dealing with administrators and community and setting up a lot of things I'd, I'd say uh only having to do football um you know and obviously recruiting those that's the two biggest things is uh, I've, I've kind of been a breath of fresh air as much as I loved the whole aspect of a program and diving into um, what I wanted the program to be, um, it's also kind of nice to just focus on uh, football and, and recruiting and player, you know, player health. And it's, it's, it's been nice. Uh, is it a little hard at first? Was it a little hard at first going from the very top, to, uh, you know, lower down on the totem pole? Um, yeah, I no, I, everyone's like, well, you've been a head coach. I was only a head coach for four years. Sorry, if there's a dog barking in the background, it's because there's a dog barking in the background. She's no trying problem. to get famous. But, um, yeah, I'd say it's, um, no, I'm a soldier, right? So whatever you are, if you're a head coach or um, if you're an assistant coach, you know, you're a part of, you're a part of the organization. You're a part of the whatever piece you are, just, just, you know, play your role and be a part of your, your whole deal. And if you can do that, um, you know, you can have a successful organization, no matter what company, uh, I don't care where, if it's football, if it's finance or whatever it is, as long as you have guys that are willing to buy into it. And as a head coach, I knew that I knew I needed the buy-in. So I think that as a head coach, it helped me come in here and realize like, I'm just, I'm a small piece of this thing, but I want, I want my piece. I'm going to be, I'm going to take my piece ex extremely important. I'm going to be the best at my piece. And so when we put all the pieces together and if you trust that everybody's going to do their piece to the best of their abilities, then, then you're really going to have something special. Uh, so I've taken that soldier mentality and, and just tried to, to help out where I can and, and be, be the consistent person that I have been as a, as a head coach and, and bring that consistency here to this program. Knowing you as well as I do, I'm sure the best part has been football 24-7 for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it's the people that I've been in, you know, introduced with and in contact with, especially with this period, being able to to Zoom meetings with, with coaches all over the country, um, at every level. I think uh that, that's been the most fun is, is just listening to how their brains work and how they see the game and how they call play. It, it's the this time again taking those negatives into a positive while we, while we are stuck inside. I have tried to um, you know, do my fair share of networking and, and and take out my pencil and start taking notes when anyone starts talking. So it's been, uh, it's, it's been a, I would say, productive quarantine from that standpoint. <laughs> what about life in Arizona? Uh, it's great. Um, you know, beautiful state. Uh, you know, just yesterday we went to, uh, we brought our dog to go swimming in a lake and we were, you know, I didn't realize this about Arizona. Uh, there's varying degrees where you're, you know, like Tucson is 2,500 above sea level uh, so there's a little bit more vegetation it doesn't get as hot as let's say like a phoenix um, but even further south of us there's you know you can go up to 4,000 uh, above where there's trees pine trees forests uh, farms ranches and it just uh, so we, we went past one of those ranches yesterday to a lake and uh, we brought our dog swimming social distancing and um, it was it was a lot of fun but just a different uh, different types of ecosystems almost that Arizona has is uh, it's been a lot of fun to explore and um, you know we we really like it here you miss the east coast um yeah of course it's, it's home um you know and anyone that says they don't miss home um you know I'm, I'm a little I don't know about that you know it's home east coast is great I know it's 40 degrees and it's raining I, I I'm not uh upset that I'm not there for that but uh um, yeah, home is home and just being around my family and, uh, you know, some friends, but, uh, for the most part, I, I love what I do. And, and, and I have, uh, you know, there's something to be said about getting married and spending, you know, a year kind of away from the distractions and, and family. We've, we've really grown close. I think over the past year, it's been great for us. That's great. Uh, were you able to keep, uh, as much as, uh, you're able to keep track of FCAC football last year? Uh, a little bit, yeah. You know, I follow, uh, obviously, I follow New Canaan um, and uh, see how dad's doing. And I talk to him and um, try to. I mean, we, you know, we play, if we travel, we're on the road Fridays. Uh, so we 
you know, we'll fly out on a Friday. So I miss those Friday night games or try to pop in scores every now and then. But, you know, seven days a week, you know, sometimes you're working, you know, 20 hour days. So there's not a lot of time you have to, uh, you know, to catch up on that stuff. But I did try to follow it. Um, you know, I watched uh, some Thanksgiving Day games and it was nice to nice to see New Canaan uh, on Thanksgiving. And, um, you know, I'll twist the knife. It was nice to see, uh, you know, them keep the Turkey Bowl trophy. Um, so uh, that's, uh, you know, that stuff was awesome. And, and um, so, yeah, I, I try to keep up with it. Um, you know, I watch some Greenwich games. Not a lot of them. They play a lot of Saturday games. So it's hard for, for us to, uh, you know, hard for me to, to, to watch them. But uh, I did I played against, uh, you know, Scooter Harrington, which was you know, one of the coolest uh, moments of, of my coaching career. Yeah, so that's I was right. up in the box on game days when he had an amazing game and, and they whipped up, they whipped up on us. But, uh, you know, it was somewhat uh, awesome to, to watch one of your former players really have one of his best games, I thought. Um, and, uh, you know, he's coming back for his fifth year. He's going to have an extra year eligibility. They visit us. So, um, you know, it'll be a lot of fun again to, to watch him play. But this time, we're, we're going to flip the script. It's, he'll, I want him to play well, but we're, I want Arizona to win the game. <laughs> <laughs> I probably watched more Arizona football this past year than uh, I think I ever have. Uh, it's good with having those uh, West Coast Saturday night starts. Uh, oh, they're tough. <laughs> yeah, we're hoping to get some day games. We're hoping to get a different schedule. Our TV contracts are the way they are. We can't help that, but um yeah they're late you know when you play a game at 8 p.m you wake up and it's all you think about all day you know so it's it's uh it's a lot of lead up it's <laughs> to it so i i would love some noon games you know we played uh played colorado at a two o'clock start for us um that was a lot of fun we played uh, oregon state home at a four o'clock those were great start times those late games are uh it's always great to be on espn um uh, it's it'd be nice to be on espn a little earlier <laughs> what uh if there's one thing you miss most about being a high school football coach here, what, what would you say that is? Um, oh, it's a good question. Uh, town camaraderie. I love Greenwich. It's such a special place. It's a special town. And, and Tucson's, you know, very similar. There's a lot, a lot of people, but with high school, I think it's just a, a closer knitted community. Uh, there's so many, so many great people uh, in that town that have, uh, that helped and that's probably there's so many helping hands that don't ask for anything um you know they, they're just willing to help with academics uh if you have kids with drug issues they're willing to talk to them and they're willing to connect you to people if you have a kid with family issues there's help if you have so on and so forth there is no uh there's really no bounds that people wouldn't help and it's to me i think that was the most incredible part about that town and and New Canaan has that, obviously, as well as, you know, the other day, just watching, um, you know, I was, I was getting sent videos of uh, people lined up in front of Lucas Niang's house when he got drafted. That was pretty uh, cool. Where <laughs> it, it's, it's surreal. I, people are special uh, and, and really in those two particular towns, because I've had experience with them, like, I, I don't know if that would have happened if we didn't have the quarantine, because where would have Lucas been for the draft, right? So um it's it's really special to to see the support nets uh so i would say that's probably one of the things i miss most is the camaraderie not only of a team of a program but of a whole town and and the, the power that this sport can do for a town and anna was happy with the giants draft <laughs> um yeah we you know i actually worked through the draft so um haven't been caught up yet <laughs> Well, Johnny, I thought it would be kind of cool for everybody to uh, to catch up with you. Uh, it's been been a year, uh, you know. I miss having you around. I know everybody else around here does, but uh, it's it's good to see you. Good to see you're you're happy and doing well out there. And uh, thanks for taking a few minutes here and catching up. Always appreciate it, and uh, you know, stay safe, everybody, and social distance, and follow follow the guidelines. We're, we'll we'll all get through this together, and we will be playing football in the fall of 2020. All right. Well, thanks again, Johnny. Thank you.